Now we're going to take a look at sequences and what they often ask you to do is find the nth term of something. Dead easy. It's just a times tables basically. The only thing you need to spot is what times table they're linked to. So this goes up in threes so it's linked to your three times table. So your three times table is this. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. And because we can't be bothered really to write the three times table, we say the times table we're using is the threes. So 3n stands for the three times table. But this isn't the three times table. You can see it's one more. So this, as an expression, is one more than the three times table. And there you have it. So let's do the same here. This one's a bit trickier. So this, you can see, is going down in twos. So this has got something to do with the minus two times table. And we call that minus 2n. But this isn't the minus two times table. It's just related to that. You can see it's 10 more. Easier to see from this one. So this is minus 2 times table, but 10 more. This one you can see it's going up in 5, so it's related to the 5 times table. We say that is 5n. And you should be able to see this isn't the 5 times table, it's 5 times table, take away 7. So that's how easy it is to find nth terms. You can do it in your head very quickly. Sometimes they ask you to write the first three terms. So... 4n is 4, 8, 12, 16. So 4n take away 3 is 1, 5, 9, 13. It's 3 less than the 4 times table. n squared means your squared numbers times table. So 1, 4, 9, 16. I did 4 there. It only asked for 3. So add 3 to it. Da -da. So that's your n squared. That's your n squared plus 3. This one is a little bit trickier. So this is two lots of n squared. So what I'd like to do is write my n squareds first. So 1, 4, 9. So double n squared is going to be 2, 8. <laughs> I can't double. 18. Got them in the end. And one less than that is going to be 1, 7, 17. Pretty simple. Now, what they also like to do is ask questions like this. So is 38 in the sequence below? So sometimes it's literally as easy as, well, that's even and they're odd, so no, but in this case they're all even. So let's work out the nth term. So you should be able to see it's in the 4 times table, but it's 2 less. So this is the sequence for which every number is in. So is this number equal to this? Now you form an equation, so 4n is equal to 40 and therefore n is 10. And this means yes it is because it's the 10th number along. So therefore yes. Let's do the same for this one. So is 71 in this sequence? So you should be able to see this is going up in threes, but it's eight more than the three times table. So is that equal to 71? So now we're going to solve this so we get 63. And once again, this is in the three times table. 21 so it means it's the 21st number so this one's also yes so basically if it's not in the times table it's not in the sequence if it is it, then yes it is and that's it for sequences